Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a new functionality in MeshMorpher which allows us to export a DNA asset uh, mesh data to an OBJ file. So the DNA asset mesh data is a quad mesh, fully quad mesh. Uh, MeshMorpher already can export a quad mesh, but uh, it converts uh, the triangle mesh that is in engine to a quad mesh. But by exporting to uh, the DNA asset, it will uh, export directly a quad mesh not uh, uh, converted from triangles right so to uh, get this started uh, let's uh, let's uh, import the dna asset in uh, 5.4 we need to import uh, the dna asset first because the mesh data is not available in engine in the dna asset so to do that just uh, select your metahuman uh, right click go to files and uh, go to your source uh, assets folder and here you have the dna asset right and uh, now just uh, drag and drop it on uh, the content browser just like that and uh, select the skeletal mesh is your metahuman machine engine right and click import now, uh, after we, we've uh, imported the DNA asset, our MetaHuman uh, DNA asset in engine will contain the mesh data as well, and we can export it or do whatever, right? So let's uh, uh, open the MetaHuman and uh, let's uh, go to tools. And here we have write DNA to OBJ, right? So we have to click on that and here we can select scale and or if we have uh, selected the colored materials each section will have its own color i'm going to export with the defaults and uh, just uh, overwrite this dna obj file and uh, let's uh, test it out we're going to open blender now and uh, we will import our obj file in blender right so let's import and uh, select our dna uh, obj file and uh, now we can see that we have our dna uh, mesh in uh, in blender and uh, we can use this for wrapping or whatever right and uh, if uh, we go to edit mode we will see that everything is quad mesh no triangle no nothing right uh, this is not a conversion from triangles to quad. This is directly a quad mesh. And uh, another thing, if uh, you bake uh, the mesh in engine, right? If you bake a morph target on the mesh, let's do that. And uh, let's bake this horse and uh, let's uh, bake the mesh. And uh, we have bake to DNA asset if available enabled. And uh, we will be able to export this version of the mesh as well, right? So just give it a moment. This is it. Let's go to the main window, click tools and write to DNA. And uh, let's overwrite our OBJ file and we will uh, re-import it in Blender, right? Let's uh, open Blender. Click on New. And uh, let's import our OBJ file. And this is our DNA asset uh, exported to OBJ. And uh, it's, uh, have, it has our baked morph target as well in it, right? It's a full quad mesh, not, ex uh, not converted from triangles to quads. It's the DNA asset with our morph target baked. So I hope you like this new functionality. I think this will help in the wrapping process, uh, especially for users that uh, don't have Maya or that uh, don't want to go back and forth with Maya. And... Uh, we know that uh, these uh, quad meshes work uh, best uh, with a wrapper or sculpting or whatever, right? So this is it, guys, for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, feature and uh, see you around. Bye.